I can fix the United States and get it back to the country it was, was once was with a 10-minute explanation. We'll begin with education. The first thing you do is you teach your kids when they first start school and at the beginning of every school year that, number one, uh, actors and actresses are not heroes. They are not to be idolized. They are merely there for entertainment. Politicians are not heroes. Sports figures are not heroes. Less than one half of one percent of all your, your children will never be a great football player, a great actor, actress, or even a news media pundit. That is the beginning. Homosexuality, we will tell you now, procreates nothing and should not ever drive our national agenda. Neither should abortion. This country's fallen apart. These things are unimportant in that respect. Homosexuality is no more significant than picking your nose. Then, with the children having that understanding, we can learn math, reading, writing, etc. Social Security. The way to fix Social Security is number one, you only have to work for about 10 years to qualify for what they call SSD. Change that immediately to 20 years instead of 40 credits, 80 credits. What fool gets a $1,400 check for working about 10 years? Nobody. Nowhere. Change it to 80 credits. If you're 45, and be, uh, 45 years old and below, you add two years, two years to their maximum retirement age. You raise the minimum retirement age to 64 instead of 62. Then you leave it on a sliding scale for the long-term fix as the population ages and lives longer. That's how you fix Social Security. You don't go on Medicare until you're 66 years old, if you're 45 and below. That's how you fix Medicare. And you don't scare the seniors that are old now, thinking that, that somebody, the Republicans are going to take it away. That's how you fix Social Security. And if you want to, maybe raise it a little bit uh, out of the payroll taxes. Raise a little bit of money. 80 credits instead of 20 or 40, excuse me, is 40 now. Make it 80. That gives you 20 years of working. Illegal immigration. You start from the California coast all the way over to the Gulf of Mexico. On the California coast, the Navy will take a certain area and move their training, all the training areas to there. The Coast Guard will be on the, on the Gulf of Mexico side. That will be their training areas. In between, you'll have the Army, the Marines, and the Air Force. Make those training areas, uh, according to however much distance you have left, you, you, you will keep your, your military training areas secure. Shut down Fort Irwin, California, National Training Center. You can do desert training right there in Texas. Shut down all those silly places we don't need. Look, the Chinese could know where to hit us anyway. It doesn't matter where you put a training post. Put the training post there. Stretch it along that border. I can assure you that the military during their operations, during their training exercise, during their rotations, will stop, stop the illegal immigration. And the Air Force plays a big role in that. All training, National Guard training, everything moved along that border. Energy. Drill now. Start opening up natural gas, which the American people can live with, uh, because it'll just take some slight adjustments to the gasoline engines to run on natural gas. That makes more sense. That will be the bridge. Put more money into nuclear. nuclear. Then experiment with all this other stuff. Now you have time. You will see the economy pick up immediately. Immediately 
upon those decisions. You open up our own resources as a bridge, do it immediately, minimize the EPA. You can monitor the clean air and all that stuff within the regulations we already have. Open it up, build that pipeline from Canada, get off the Mideast oil, you will see this country rebound immediately because people will free up their money. Construction will begin. Then you can work on the infrastructure by states. Immediately begin a transformation where the vehicles run on natural gas. Got it? Politicians. We need to minimize politicians back to what they should be, which is a public servant working for the people. You can get away, get rid of that rule about uh, voting raises in, where they vote their own selves right. No, it's the people that should decide whether they should have a raise. Hold them to some kind of a standard. Make it illegal for a politician to write a book to go to work for, 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 for anybody uh, where, where, where there's a conflict of interest for five years when they're finished with their office, and that includes the office of the President of the United States. Get these politicians back to where they belong, working for the people. They are not heroes. They should not be considered heroes. They should be considered public servants who get paid to do a job for the people. If you don't want to do it, don't get in it. Back to illegal immigration. Once you get that border sealed, we need to do something with the 11, 12, or however many millions of folks that are here. It's simple. The penalty for coming here illegally is that you will never be a citizen. However, you're going to be able to stay here, work here, pay into Social Security, get Social Security, but you will never become a citizen. We will give you a work permit. You can live here. Your children will be, as they are born here, will be citizens. You can travel freely between, back and forth to your country or anywhere you want to go. You will have sort of a permanent uh, resident alien status. The penalty is you're not going to be a citizen. That will be your penalty, along with a few fines, etc., etc. <laughs> Last but not least, we need to teach our children who the heroes really are. They're not politicians. They're not actresses and act actors. They're certainly not news media pundits. We need to start vetting news media pundits. They always like to vet politicians. They, 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 they sit in a politician's yard and film them and write down what they're doing. Let's start vetting people that get to get on the news and talk about other people or vetting other people. Let's vet them. An example, Mike Barnacle. He sits there on Morning Joe, and, 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 and people applaud him as being some kind of a, a sits around watching baseball hero. Look, the guy is a plagiarist. He, had, he plagiarized material. He's not a hero. And last but not least, isn't that... Isn't that a pretty fellow? <laughs> you see O'Reilly, Hannity, Limbaugh. I sacrificed something for my country to include combat. Did you? None of you people did. Did you, my, uh, Scarborough? Mika Brzezinski? No. All you actors and actresses? No. Roseanne Barr? No. George Soros? No. I love this country, and you can't do without me. I'm Joseph Allen Mowry from Live Oak, Florida. God bless you.